Do vampires really exist? They are a creature that sucks blood from human or other mammals. Ancient folklore says they feed the vital essence in form of blood from a living being. Jur Grando Alilovic from modern day Croatia was the first real person described as a vampire. His timeline was from 1579 to 1656. People called him Strigoi or Strigon, a local word resembling vampire. Creatures with vampiric characteristics appeared from ancient Greece, where stories told of creatures that attacked people in their sleep and drained their bodily fluids. Story of Sekhmet, Egyptian feline warrior goddess, associated with both plague and healing, is one of the oldest vampire tales. Legend says that sun god Ra sent his daughter Sekhmet down to punish humankind for their disobedience. But these are all stories. Do vampires really exist nowadays? If you consider people who drink blood of others for pleasure, then the answer is yes. A 2015 survey conducted by Atlanta Vampire Alliance found that there are at least 5,000 people in the United States who identify as real vampires. While some vampires looking for psychic energy that gives them strength, others known as medsangs, claim to suffer from a strange medical condition with fatigue, headaches, and extreme stomach pain. They believe this only can be treated by feeding on other humans' blood. There are thousands of people doing this in just US alone. Their symptoms and behavior are a real mystery. Blood is highly nutritious and a natural laxative. This may be why it offers some temporary relief for both the digestive and mental difficulties. Really scary, right? If you want to see part two, then we can discuss about medical disorder, which with the mixture of myth, making these people vampires. Thank you for watching. Comment what you know about vampires. Let's see if you can find any unknown fact. Like and share with everyone. And subscribe Reds Biology for more videos. Take care. Bye.